that they probably will not go for your version? Well, it's interesting because um, the person that seems to be the strongest advocate against our, our, our uh, proposal is Senator Huffman. This is Senator Huffman's bill from two, G, uh, two General Assemblies ago. He's advocated for this very plan for a number of years and says this is exactly the plan that Ohio needs. Um, is essentially eliminate that performance-based program that was started in 2005. And I, I think that's a mistake there. In terms of, of the eligibility for the vouchers is the, uh, we're, we are abandoning the failing school model. Um, the, the, and there's a number of reasons. You get a scholarship. And, and I understand the thinking for Ed Choice and how it got that way. But if you really think it through, designating an entire school building as failing because the average of all of the kids goes below a certain amount really doesn't make a lot of sense. It, it ought to be based on need and ability to pay, not some arbitrary standard that's created for people. It, it came to being in earnest in the early 2000s. The Ed Choice program, or is based on what I call a failing schools method, and for those on uh, the Joint Education Committee and this committee, you've heard me talk often about how I think that's a very poor way of applying tests and defining schools. But the, this bill will essentially uh, have one voucher program that will be based on income, and I'll talk about on someone's need or their income and not on some of these other things that at the time I think probably made sense, uh, but are really more arbitrary. What the House did um, is essentially eliminate that performance-based program that was started in 2005. And I, I think that's a mistake there. This is Senator Huffman's bill from two, G, uh, two General Assemblies ago. He's advocated for this very plan for a number of years and says this is exactly the plan that Ohio needs.